Happy holidays to everyone, my good friends. And in that vein, we are going to try to bring holiday cheer to many people that have afflictions. And those afflictions, as I've been saying right along, are most of them are based on bacteria. If you don't have the right bacteria in you, you're going to be sick. The bacteria in you is generally favorable to your health. Generally. There are exceptions. You can get infected by invasive bacteria, but 99% of the time, that only happens because your good bacteria has already been destroyed and can't fight against this bad bacteria. Right? Th think about it. If you don't have the bacteria in your body, you, bacteria in your body is an army. Right? It's an army. It's your army. It is your defensive system. Bacteria is your friend. It is your health. It is your, it's your pharmacy. All right? What does it do? What's that bacteria do? And how does it get there? And it comes from your birth canal. From the birth canal, when you're born, you are infused with bacteria in your mouth, in your eyes, in your ears. It's all vaginal fluids, which are loaded with prebiotics. And by that, I mean they are little bugs that are going to get into your system in your membranes and what those do is there's a membrane a membrane just means a layer of film that can you can pass through it goes both ways sometimes both ways sometimes just one way and those membranes protect you from all the goop that's in your body and the other side is in you and they don't need to get touching very often. And when they do, they need to go through what's called an ion channel, right? Pentameric ion gated channels. And what does that mean? Well, ion is is a a molecule that has a charge. Right? It has an electric charge. So that's an ion. And what does it do? It goes up to the gate and it says, Tick, open the gate. And it says, oh, well, you got the right charge? And it says, yeah, I got exactly the right charge. He says, well, if you got the right charge, you come through. And it goes through with a ligand bound product and it carries it through. What is a ligand? A ligand is just a pincher. It's just a pinch. It says, okay, I'm a pinch. And you're the, you've got the place I can pinch, and it pinches it. Some people, you can't pinch them that way. Other ones, you pinch them that way. And that's how, what's called molecular, atomic, orbital, valence shell configurations. If I have two in the valence shell, I want six more to help, hook up with. I want eight in my valence shell. And that guy does too. He might want to share his two with me or whatever it is. Usually it's one. Because you can drop one off and pick one up very easily. And that's what they do. They go into an, a, an acidic one, will go into a salt solution, and that back and forth. And it's just the way they do. They come, they go. And that is the way products are delivered in the body. Now, if you don't have the bacteria to create these, these agents enzymes really they're enzymes they're little chemistry sets and if you don't have the bacteria to make those you're not going to have not going to have the products let's just read this it's very quick and it makes it totally clear crystal structures of ion channels and the alkaline ph show widely open pore identify cavity for modulation the cavity goes through the uh, membrane so you can get stuff through and if it pinches and won't let it through, you can't get it. And if it's open all the time, you get too much, you get a disaster. Here's the deal. Pentamatic ligand here. Let me do it. Gated ion channels, the things that we're talking about, these holes that are open and closed by little ions, constitute a widespread class of ion channels. So it's not just one. It's not just, oh, we're only going to allow sugar through here. We're only going to allow this through there. Well, they're all over the board, and they are present in archaea, bacteria, eukarya, everywhere, across the board. They're in all life. Upon binding of their agonists in the extracellular domain, so that's outside of your 
they bind in your cell membranes. Uh, where was I? The transmembrane pore opens. All right, so the pore opens, allowing ions to go through via a gating mechanism, just like a gate. Says so you got the right ions. Yeah, I got them. Okay, the gates open, go. You can be modulated by a number of drugs. So that's what they're looking for, is how they can go in there and intervene instead of having the correct bacteria do the job. But listen, it says, even though high-resolution structural information on these PLGICs, you know, these pentamatic uh, glucai, glu and, and the ion channels, has increased in a spectacular way. High-resolution instruction... In structural information, they're starting to see how these work, has increased in a spectacular way in recent years, both in bacterial and in eukaryotic systems. Okay, it's two different life forms. The structure of the open channel conformation of some intensively studied receptors whose structures are known in a non-active closed form, such as Da, 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 is still lacking. So, so they're not really paying close enough attention. It comes over here. I, there are also numerous members of this family throughout the bacterial world, and their physiological role is not known. This is a problem. They, we got zillions of them. These are doing the job. We don't know where they come from, and we don't know really what they actually do, but we know they're there. And they come out of these bacterial world and their physiological role is not fully understood. And not only is it not understood that what they actually do, it's not understood even where they live and the quantities of them and, and even their species in, in a lot of cases. We don't know enough about the the actual human being and what exists inside the human. If you once you know that, and then you know people that don't have problems, and you find other people have problems, you're going to find a difference in some form of chemistry, some form of bacteria. And it's pretty much going to be bacteria. That's what I'm finding. And I'm working with a bunch of people now. They're doing a lot of work. And they're providing me with a lot of information. I like going through it because I, I kind of understand maybe a little more on the, you know, bacterial side. of. I've been doing this a long time. So maybe I got a little extra understanding of things. When they send them to me, I can dig through them. And if they make sense to me, I, I, you know, I, at least I got something I can go with. But um, to do all of this work to find all these things, one person, it's just it's impossible. So... We, now having all the people that are out there contributing and being interested now because now they're seeing that this is not just silly not just humming in the woods here and 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 uh because this is understood by the medical community but they, they they just not you know everybody seems to be in their own little room you know I, I do this and i do that and i do the other thing and nobody seems to be putting it together and i'm just all over the place i just you know, that's just the way <laughs> I can't help myself. I see something and I can't help myself. And, and, and everything seems to be related to everything else. I think anybody now should be able to make these relationships. That there's no compartmentalization, compartmentalization in life, really. Everything seems to have an effect on everything else. I mean, it's like the, you know, uh, what are you saying about the butterfly wings or something, he flaps it and something happens, the guy sneezes in Alaska, I don't know, <laughs> some silly thing like that, but you know, I'm telling you, if you don't look, you have no clue, and this goes, you know, we're getting some very, very, very good research going on here now, that has, you know, I mean, this is serious stuff, and, uh, and there's serious consequences to this. It's heartwarming to see that it's it's actually helped. We've actually had results, not just, you know, well, let's think about this, think about this. We've had kids have actual turned around a little bit, you know, not 100%, because it's, you know, eight, nine years of, um, of damage. It's pretty tough to turn around in a couple of days. But within weeks or, or a month or two, you know, from, um, you know, going on a scale of from zero to ten you know going from a two to about a seven eight nine and staying there until 
until you know they, they lose the bacteria again. That's huge. Absolutely huge. 